everyone. I hope we're all doing well. Now, judging from the title, um, this topic, which I'm about to talk about, might seem to some people that uh, it might seem somewhat silly, and that, of course, would be perfectly understandable. But personally, I find this to be a very intriguing topic. Now, first of all, note that when I say dragons, do dragons exist or are they real? Um, I could actually be, be, be referring to any other, uh, to any other creature, being, thing. Um, but I just wanted to choose dragons exa- as an example. It's a funny example, which almost everyone knows. Now... We all know that uh, there are many, like, movies and stories out there and some old legends which people talk about, um, in which we can see some, you know, uh, very interesting, uh, we can see and read about very interesting, you know, uh, creatures, beings, you know, uh, basically anything fictional or something which, which is derived from the imagination. And now, of course, these things are labeled as being, uh, you know, um, uh, works of fantasy. But now one might say, what if there is some truth in these things? Now, logically speaking, um... Uh, Yes, we may not be able to... Wait, first of all, we def- let's define a dragon so that we know what exactly we're talking about. Uh, what is exactly we're talking about? Even though we know what a dragon is, it's best to give a brief definition of, re- of what we really mean by when we say dragon. So a dragon, we can say it's basically a, a four-legged reptile uh, yeah, four-legged, fire-breathing reptile with a pair of wings. That would be a typical brief description of a dragon. Okay, can we prove its existence? I mean, we may not be able to prove the existence of dragons, but logically speaking, we also cannot really negate the existence of dragons. Okay, just because we haven't observed, seen or felt the existence of dragons, it does not mean that they do not exist. And technically speaking, they could very well, you know, be out there. Which is very interesting to think about. Um, okay, and I'm thinking from a logical viewpoint here. Okay. Now... Uh, and we can apply this to many other things as well. We cannot negate the existence of something just because we haven't observed it. Okay. Someone might say that it's scientifically not possible. I mean, how could a dragon survive with fire inside of it? I mean, the heat from the fire would kill the dragon. It, it would burn itself. Okay. I would understand why someone would would uh, say that, of course, it does make sense. But then again, then again, we need to understand that science always changes. And actually, um, actually, science is not absolute. I mean, it's not, science is not supposed to give truths are a hundred percent absolute okay science always changes and even things that were considered facts let alone just theories i mean even things that were considered facts in the past now maybe a scientist would uh you know change their minds or opinions as regards to whether they really are uh true or not Okay, and there are many big examples uh, for this, but uh, 
um, that would be for another video. Uh, anyways, yeah. So like I said, maybe it could be, for example, that um, there is some, you know, mechanism or some sort of thing this dragon has which, in, which protects it from the fire, you know? I mean, who knows? Okay, we always, we always discover new stuff and scientists may turn out to be wrong, okay? That's the truth. Even though many people put their trust in science uh, a bit too much sometimes, especially nowadays. But uh, I hope people start to, you know, um, sort of really think about it. Okay, so logically speaking, we can't really negate the existence of dragons. And uh, from, a scientific, from a scientific viewpoint, Maybe someone might say that it's not possible for there to be a dragon, a fire-breathing dragon. But what I see is that there are many possibilities for how that could actually be possible. And, uh, yeah, they could be out there. Okay, someone might say, what if... Or actually, not what if. Someone might say, isn't it a coincidence? Is it, um, you know, if if dragons do exist, let's say that dragons exist, and, they're very, and their descriptions are very similar to the descriptions that we have for dragons, okay? Um, okay, now, um, someone might say that, would that be... I mean, that would be a coincidence. I mean, I mean, that would be a very big coincidence. Like, how come that when we find out that dragons are indeed real, it turns out that, there's, that they're very similar to the way we actually thought of them, you know? Like, we thought of something, we imagined something, and then we found out it's actually real. Like, what are the chances? What are the odds of that happening? So someone might say that the chances of that happening are, like, extremely low. Um, okay. Now, first of all, I just want to say that, well, okay, this might seem very, you know, uh, it, I, this might seem like a good point. But, of course, as someone who believes in God, I, like most people, believe that God can do anything, okay? Like, he can create anything at any time. He knows what we're thinking. He knows our thoughts even before they, they pop up in our head, okay? So, that wouldn't be a problem in that case, but if, let's say, we're talking to an atheist, well, in that case, I would tell the atheist to be consistent because many atheists say that, uh, you know, uh, the universe is a result of chance and many of the complexities and many of the things which work very well together, you know, they function very well together and, you know, they're designed so well, okay? And, and of course, they dismiss it as coincidence. Um, so, uh, I don't know about you, but what you're thinking as an atheist, the universe is all of chance, is a much bigger coincidence than, than to say that dragons actually do exist the same way people think of them. So, yeah. There's that. Um, their argument doesn't hold too much weight. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all that there is to say. Um, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed me talking about this topic. Um, so yeah, that's all.
thanks for listening. If you're still listening, if you're still here, then I appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and uh, see you later.